Hello everybody. Hope you're all okay today. Got some fan mail again. Oh yeah, I've got loads coming. They're still coming by the thousands. So I thought I'd better read, start reading some more. You know how to get through them. And that, you know, just stacks of letters coming all the time. I'm that famous now, you know. Letters after letters after letters. And we, I'm going to try and read quite a few today. I hope YouTube don't mind. You know, time's time in it. But uh, we've got these letters. Anyhow, the first letter is by uh, Mrs. Misery Guts. Mrs. Misery Guts. <laughs> I've got to read this one by Mrs. Misery Mrs. Misery Guts. Dear Phil, I am writing today to see if you can advise me. My name, I go by my name, Mrs. Misery Guts. When my family does or parties or I go down to my community centre for my Christmas dinner and stuff and they have a bit of a dance and a bit of a party, I, I, I never join him. Uh, I just sit there and uh, mourn about or everything about the government and the bills and the state of the country and I, I really do live by that name. Have you any advice, uh, Phil? I have, Mrs Misery Guts. I have. My advice is when the local circus comes, oh yeah, when the lo local circus comes to, to town near, near you, get yourself to the circus and watch clowns in circus. Oh, I used to love that when my mum used to take me to the circus. Oh, I used to love uh, really funny clowns. I love the clowns in uh, circus. Keep it, keep it, keep up the good work in circus with clowns. Because we need that, we need to have a laugh, don't we, this day and age, what's going off around the world. So, Mrs Misery Guts, get yourself to the circus when they come uh, and watch the clowns. Oh, that's a lovely letter. Right, another letter uh, called Mrs Town. And what Mrs Town's saying is, I go and watch Ken Dodd. When he was alive, Phil, and uh, it was a real good show, and you could never ever get Ken Dodd off when he was in show. You always got your money's worth, you know. It wasn't like the rest of artists watch just on a couple of hours and then they're off again, and you had to pay. Uh, you know, had to be out at nose, you know, when you go and see these people. But Ken Dodd went on and on and on. You couldn't get him off. Well, she said you're a bit like that, Phil. Me. She says, yeah. She said, we can't get you off of YouTube. She said, every time I put my uh, phone on, there's you on there with your videos and your card readings. I, I know, Mrs Town, I know. But you see, I've got so many fans now. I have to read all these letters and that, like your letter yourself. And yeah, I, I've read about that, about Ken Dodd. You couldn't get him off uh, that... But I try my best, you know, to uh, cut, a, cut a lot of my letters down because I'm getting tons by the day. I really am. Tons by the day. Anyhow, I'll see what I can do with time and that. But I think this one's going to be a bit longer than what we normally do because I've got loads. I've got five cards for you. And uh, I've got a couple of cards, actually, to start off. Do you remember the video? Anyhow, thank you that for that letter. I'm going on, like they always say, you go on a bit too much and all, Phil. Well, I really do, but uh, remember the cards, what I says, uh, what I want to bring alive and in story. Well, I did one, didn't I? I did a which story, I got the cards going, interacting and in a story. Well, I'm doing the same again. I've got two cards here, and if you can take the cards, that's fair enough. But we'll get the characters going, eh? See this card here, and it's from this deck. It's Guardian Angel Messengers Tarot by Radley Valentine, and we're going to have five cards pulled if we've got time. So let's push on. <laughs> right, this card. Let's bring a. Let's bring this card alive a bit. Well, the card is. 
8 of air and it's self-doubt, confusion, confusion and free will. Now this younger young lady or young girl, what you have what you want to have it, she is confused because that's what the card is. She came to me because I'm wanting a secretary because I've got so many letters, you know, thousands. I'm wanting a secretary and I'm wanting a security guard to guard all my letters down at garage. But she were a bit late coming and she's called Carol. I said, well, I'm sorry, uh, love. I said, I've already got a secretary and we're going to show you the secretary in a minute from one of the cards from that deck. So I said to Carol, you can be a security guard. So the poor lass is down there at the moment in rain, cold, freezing, freezing. Can you see icicles there? See all them swords there? That's guarding all my fan mail down in garage. And I said, you better get a, a, a coat to keep you warm because there's no eating in the garage or all like that. I said, but you can have many cups of teas and breaks if you want. She said, well, you're very kind, Philip, you really are. So she's down there guarding my uh, fan mail. Bless her, bless her. Right, my secretary will beat Carol to the job. And she's a right fisticated lady. Right intelligent she is. She's putting me on my feet, she is. It's a bit like of a manager and all. And she's called Linda. There she is. She's looking through her notes already and uh, getting things ready for me to do and sort me out with this card reading and all this lot. What's going off on YouTube with me? That's my boss. And that is Queen of Water, if you can take that. And it's called Loving, Giving and Psychic. She's a bit of a psychic and all. She knows what I'm thinking of and all. <laughs> oh dear. So that's my new secretary, Linda. Right, we've got to get on. Let's see what other letters. I'm looking down to see what letters we've got. I've got another letter by Mrs. Feet. Mrs. Feet. Let's see what Mrs. Feet has to say. Dear Phil. Should I vote next time? Oh, well, I keep getting people's voting and stuff. I keep on about government. She says, Dear Phil, should I go and vote this time or sh shall I just leave it? She said, I am fed up with the state of the world. No bill, you know, all bills are going up. Uh, prices in supermarkets are soaring out of uh, roof. My wage ain't gone up for, for months and months and months. She said, I'm overworked with hours and that. And on my feet all day, you know, without much breaks at work. Me, they've cut my breaks down. That's You live by your name, Miss Feet. That's uh, so feet. Do you have so feet? Just check her letter. Yes, she does. Bless her. She has so feet. Oh, come. The state of our, our world at the moment in 21st century. Yeah, come on. What are they doing in power? Uh, you yeah, still go and vote. Don't, don't snub. Uh, uh, government or MPs get out there and vote Miss Feet and uh, you never know we'll get some MPs what's going to sort out all this mess won't we you know uh, so just try and get yourself there and, and vote you know because I'm still going to vote even though they're making the right mess of, all parties are making the mess of the country aren't they so yeah just just get out there and 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 vote I want that to let the letter there right what's my next letter oh we've got a gang of chaps oh here we go we've got a gang of lads and the Newcastle supporters all oh, right Newcastle supporters are you I respect all uh, things all football you know I, I'm, I'm not one of these what starts you know wanting to uh, Go weekends in my younger days and have a scrap just because other team supports another team. No, on lads, you, you know, let's let's keep it respectable football uh, and stop all that. That that was years ago. Come on, uh, if you support Man United, you support Man United and you respect people from other teams: Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, and you, and you lads from Newcastle, Geordies, 
Why I man? Why I man? I'm so sorry for that, lads, because you're a gang and I don't want you coming up here beating me up for that. Uh, but what these lads are saying is, Dear Phil, we love your videos. We watch them before we go to football and have a drink. Well, thank you, lads. And what these lads are asking for some advice. Can we have some advice, Phil? Yes, you can, lads. You can, lads, from uh, Newcastle, Geordie Land. You can have some advice. And what they're wanting is, they're wanting to know which country to go uh, for uh, next year. Well, lads, I know a lot of you like going away and drinking and uh, going to these countries and picking up girlfriends and that and that, but I've heard you keep giving us a bad name, the UK. So come on, behave yourself when you get over there. Uh, Spain is a good country to go. Spain, a lot of good nightclubs out there. I've never been like, but that's what I've heard. There's a lot of good nightclubs and that. And they say that the uh, women and that are, are, are not bad looking on that over there and all. But when you go over there, lads, don't trust the hotels or all like that and getting drunk and shouting at night, coming out at pubs and all that. You know, the, the Spanish people don't like it and it gives the UK a bad name. So when you go over there, lads, can you behave yourself? Phil wants you to behave yourself. I'll set my security guard on you, Carol. Yeah, or my secretary. So... Oh, that's a love letter. Thanks for for you. So behave yourself, lads. Behave yourself. Create these letters there. Eh? I just love it. I love it. You know, I, I'm getting to love doing letters more than my card reading. You know, so uh, we'll see what other letters. I'm looking down here now. Oh, Mrs. Cleaner. All oh, right, she cleans offices, and she's fed up of cleaning and that. And she says, uh, do you think I ought to retire? She's 85 year old and she's kept going. She's had to keep going to keep her pension, you know, because her pension ain't great. And so she's had to do cleaning and she's still cleaning at 85. 85 year old, poor lady, Mrs. Cleaner, she's called. Oh, I feel really sorry for her, 85. She should have been retired, shouldn't she, really? And what she's saying is, she's finding it hard and that. And should I retire, Phil? And that, and what what will I do when I do retire? Well, Mrs. Cleaner, my advice to you is start start to give up the cleaning and retire. That's my straight away. No no messing. I, I really feel for you at that age. You shouldn't be. You sh this day and age, you shouldn't be, shouldn't be having to uh, clean and that at eighty five year old just to top up your pension. Really, should you? So my advice is retire, and uh, uh, you wanted to you wanted to know if there's any hobbies. Well, get yourself down to community centre and start playing bingo. You never more know you might win some money down at bingo. Uh, a lot of them don't pay much, but at least you're getting down there, meeting people, having a drink of tea, and having a bit of a laugh and that. Or get yourself to working men's club and see a band and that and. And something like that, you know, and start meeting people in social events and that. Uh, once you pack up your job, don't, don't, don't just give up, Mrs. Cleaner, you know, because you've worked all your life and you paid your taxes. And well done on you. Well done on you. Oh, want that to... Another good letter. Another good letter. Right, I'm looking at the clock now. We're at 13 minutes. I bet the manager of YouTube's going, get off, Phil, get off. Look at the time. Look at the time. Oh, I am looking at the time. Have, have I any more letters what I want to get through? Thousands. I'm looking at letters now. I think we've got them all now. Oh, Mr. Ty. He sent me a tie, but I haven't got time. Mr. Ty, I haven't got time to uh, show you a tie. And he's saying that, is it a sign, dear Phil, my name is Mr. Ty, and I keep seeing black ties in shops when I go into clothes shops, do you? Strange. Yes, I'm wondering if it's a sign, Philip, Mr. Ty, it's a black tie. Now, I am working at the moment. What are you doing, Mr. Ty? 
I am working as a road sweeper. Well, that's good on you. That's good on you. At least you're getting yourself out and doing a job. You aren't being lazy. Sponging. Sponging. At least you're doing something. Well done on you. Well done on you. Well, Phil, I keep seeing these black ties. Is that a sign? Well, it is a sign, actually. Black ties are for security guards, because I used to have one. I've got one in my cupboard. It's a black tie, it's a pull-on, and, it, and you can pull it off if someone grabs hold of you like that, and it just slips off. The really good ties, black ties. So, yes, Mr. Tie, it's a sign. Get yourself into security. Take the security course, and you'll pass the exams. Don't worry about that. Have a bit of confidence in that. And, uh, yeah, time to be a, a security guard, Mr. Tai. Well, thank you very much. Right, we'll get on with card readings now, because time's time. And it's this deck here. Guardian Angel, Messengers, Tara, Radley Valentine. Right. Our first card, if you can take it. I'll try and go for it. Oh, we've got the wish card. Now that's good and for all of us. So we can uplift this uh, video. It got a bit downed in it with some of the letters. A bit, bit dreary with letters. And this is the wish card. Anything you want, wish today. Because you've got the wish card. Even when I get after this video, I'm going to get off and make a wish. I really am. I need it myself. Right, that's our first card. Our second card. Isn't this great? Oh, we've got another... Hey, we're getting some good cards today. After them letters. And that's the lover's card. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Relationship going well. Uh, so all you lovers out there, maybe you want to get engaged, marry. Uh, really committed to each other. Lovely card, that. Oh, that'll do for you lads in uh, to Newcastle. Going, going to Spain. Might meet a young girl and then settle down and get married and uh, you, you never know. Life will be great for you, lads. Right, let's move on. Oh, Tony's gone down a little bit on this card. What's up with this girl here? There's angels. She's sat in a chair with wings, so she's she's got a, an angel's guide, you know, guiding angels behind her. But look at her face. She she looks miserable on that. Oh, what's up with this young person? See if I can sort this out for this young girl. Mistakes. Melodrama. Well, yeah. She's having problems and that. and But she, I think she's overreacting with problems. Can you see them falling on the chessboard? She's got a couple of problems. But can you see them still up? So she's got a couple of problems in life. But she's got a guide to help, help her. And uh, everything's going to be okay for you. Whoever you can take that. A bit miserable with problems. Right, our next card. This is our fourth one. Oh no. Another miserable card. I call it the three o'clock card. Can you see that? Is it a lady? It's a lady. Got her hands up at her face. She, she's got problems and all. See all them swords there. Problem after problem after problem after... Well, we've all got problems, haven't we? The three o'clock card. Even I'm up at, uh, at three in the morning thinking how am I going to pay my gas bill? Uh, you know, all energy bills and electric bill and all that and council tax and then you have to go to the supermarket and you buy about ten items, don't you? And it costs you an arm and a leg. Everything. Oh, I wish they sort it out quickly for us all. We're really living in dark ages. So this, this card has brought the energy down again. Negativity, <laughs> worry and sleepless nights for us all. Oh, I hope the next card's going to cheer us up. Our final card. I hope it's a good one. I really do. To lift, lift the energy up a little bit. Well, it's uh, Ace of Water, so Aces are always beginnings, aren't we? It's called Motions. Well, I'm not going to go down there. If we go down there, Motions, you know, it brings the, the energy down. 
relationship and intuition well yeah i use i'm trying to use a lot of intuition at the moment aren't I? but can you see that little girl there with cup holding that cup now water is a lot of motions in tarot cards she's got a guardian angel there see that angel there back of her and this little girl you know is sort of pleading to all the mps and people in power can you sort our education out schools are needing money to sort out the properties and all things what the need in schools a lot of money it's a lot of schools at the moment are needing money out there there's kids uh starving in that in the uk the parents are having to go to food banks for children you know young children it shouldn't it shouldn't be right that you, but they're getting tins of beans and soups that's not good for young young children they want a, a really good meal you know with vegetables in and that and that's what this little girl's there she's holding that cup it's full of water full of emotions we need to sort out all the problems and especially for children children in the uk having to starve and be poor it's just not on and the guardian angel's there to help and everything's going to be all right can you see the lovely flowers on water and all the greenery in that back in that card and what that is saying is that things are going to look up it won't all be doom and gloom and miserable will it uh things are going to be bright and we're all going to have a bit of fun and everything's going to turn out just how we all really want it right i've got to get off because we're at 21 minutes now this was a long video like they've been saying you know like ken don stays on and on and you can't get him off the stage uh, i don't want to really be like ken dodd do i really but i am i'm turning out like that so i'll get off look after yourself all of you keep safe but keep smiling even though we've got all our problems there <laughs> catch you later on the next one catch me uh I think the next one, I think I'll give it a couple of days rest uh, for you all. I think my next video will be on Halloween, definitely. The, definitely the next one will be on Halloween, so you'll have a couple of days rest from me. So we'll have a Halloween special on the 31st of uh, October, so look out for that one. Bye.